What do you consider victory tonight? In I think victory will be uh, a chance for the American people to finally see who Joe Biden is, because let's be honest, he has largely been hidden away. And his, he and his campaign have, have rather successfully played the game of hide the candidate. He can't hide tonight. And for 90 minutes in front of a massive audience of Americans at home, I think it will be revealed that he has a record of economic failure. And when you contrast that to President Trump, somebody who both in the past tense and the present tense can rightly boast uh, of being an incredible job creator, of being an entrepreneur president who has created the conditions for prosperity in this country. To me, that stark contrast will be very clarifying for the American people. So when the category comes up for the Trump record, that's what he's going to say? I believe so. Correct. That is the most, to me, number one, it's the most compelling case the president has to make. But also, Bill, it is far and away, according to polling, the number one concern on Americans' minds. A couple things going around today on the earpiece. What's the truth? Do you, does the Trump campaign stand by the fact that you believe that the Biden campaign refused an ear check? That is correct. They, they had agreed. And then, by the way, this is, this is unfortunately typical of Joe Biden. This is somebody who tells us he was for NAFTA before he was against NAFTA, uh, that he was for, for banning fracking before he's against banning fracking. Now, it's an earpiece. That's not nearly as important as those other issues. But the point is, it's indicative of the waffling of the candidate and the campaign. They said they agreed to a check by a third party. They're now saying they won't.